Hello everyone, welcome to part 4 of our Voron 2.4 build where we'll be focusing on the deck and Z motors. To install the deck we need to flip the printer over and when we do that we run the danger of the Z rails running off. So we need to make sure we protect them so I'm just going to use some blue painters tape and uh, put a piece of tape to wrap these around and to stop these from moving when we flip this over. Do this for all four Z rails. Here we have the frame flipped over and we will set in the deck just to see how it fits and how everything else will sit on top of it. We're test fitting the DIN rails to see if they fit and unfortunately they don't. They're a little bit too long. Both of them are. So we're going to have to cut these and so I'm going to mark roughly how much I need to take off of each of these and then we'll cut these and with a hacksaw. The five millimeter screws to secure the DIN rails are too large for the holes in the DIN rails. We'll be drilling those out too. So we've cut the DIN rails and we're going to test fit them one more time so we can align the holes um, and as we sit and center those, I'll mark the holes that need to be drilled out with a pencil. And uh, make sure you do that for all four holes where these will be fastened to the base of the frame. Use a piece of scrap wood when drilling out the DIN holes for the screws. And do this for all four holes. We need to remove the protective backing uh, before finalizing, bolting all of this together. Uh, it can be a little tricky finding the edge, but this should be relatively easy. Be sure to flip this over as there's a protective backing on this side as well. And just be warned, the round hole and the square notch should be facing the back of the printer. And once more, making sure the base of the panel is uh, oriented in the correct direction as I set this in and align for the screws. Here I've screwed the, uh, the DIN plates as well as the panel uh, to the base. And as it turned out, the screws are about a millimeter or so too long. So I'm unscrewing them adding the washers to add the proper spacing. I don't want the screws to bottom out and uh, damage the extrusion in any way. So I'm just doing this to all four. I'm assuming you'll probably have to do the same. To install the Z drives, insert the nuts, uh, make sure they're popped in correctly, uh, use a hex wrench or whatever it takes to make sure they rock in, 
and I'm going to uh, pre-insert the screws, the bolts. Um, this will make it a little easier for me to align the nuts. And again, using a hex key to uh, adjust the position of these to make sure everything aligns properly and I can bolt this in correctly. Uh, be sure to align these as closely as you can with the corner of the frame. I'm using my hands. Hopefully that's good enough. I have a feeling uh, when everything finally comes together in the final assembly, there'll probably be a little adjustment here. Tighten the bolts and then repeat this for the three other Z drives. Installing the Z motors is really straightforward. You can see how they fit here. We'll be installing the nuts, of course, to attach these. And again, using a hex wrench or your fingers if it happens to work. Right now my fingers are working <laughs> to align these, or rather to rock them in properly. Uh, we will adjust for the spacing, of course, as we've done for everything else. I'm inserting the screws to make that easier. It's a little bit tight. Install the uh, spacing lever. Uh, make sure you choose the right one and it's oriented the correct way so this works properly. If installed properly, the base of the lever and the base of this flange should all be level and even, which they are. Tighten the bolts to hold the motor, but keep them loose because we do have to slide this over and adjust for the belt. Um, I've opened the spacing lever or the locking lever so I can get the motor as close as possible to the Z drive and the belt. And then we'll insert the belt over the pulley on the motor. Tighten this a little bit more, and then close or lock the spacing lever, which will force the motor out a little bit to the right. And then once you do that, you can tighten this the rest of the way. Do this for the three other motors as well. Here I've pre-assembled the Z idlers and I'm inserting the bolts again to help with alignment of the nuts. You can try to do these by hand if you have a little trouble. You may need to use your screwdriver. Um, I screw them in just enough so they're just barely protruding again which will help with the alignment. and uh, drive these in a little bit more. And then as you screw these in, uh, don't tighten them down all the way, uh, just enough to where they've actually attached themselves to the nuts because we still gotta slide this so it's firmly into both sides of the extrusions, like so, and then you can tighten it. And then you can go ahead and do these for the three other Z idlers. If you find this video useful, please click subscribe 
and thank you for watching and stay tuned for the build plate.